What's going on guys? Today we are going to be creating a login account. I mean a login route and also a logout route and we're going to be testing those two as well with Mocha obviously. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So we're going to start things off with creating a login request or route which is going to be a post route because we are sending data back and trying to retrieve something. Uh, so app dot post and the user user, the URL is going to be forward slash user forward slash login. Pretty simple, pretty simple. Yes, it is simple from here. Rec, rec, Okay, res. And in here. So we are going to be picking the things that we want. So I'm just grab this. It's literally the same thing. Grabbing that, you know, just in case something goes wrong. We are picking the email. Or just in case they're sending stuff more than the email and password back. We are going to just get the email and password from that object that they send back. And we are going to create our own method again. And this one is going to be an instance method, okay? Or a model method, sorry. It's going to be a model method. So it's going to be user. This is not the model method. The model method comes right now. Find. It's not going to be find by one, find by, uh, find one and update. It's going to be find by credentials. And this is going to be a method that we create later on down the road, but I'm just defining it right here for now. And then we're going to create it inside of our models folder. So find by credentials and we are going to pass in body dot email and body dot password. Just like so. And then it is going to return a user. So dot then the user. We are going to do something with the user right there. And down here, we are going to catch something if something goes wrong. So error. And this one should be pretty simple because it's always exactly the same thing as up here. So I'm just copy this. Copy that. Oh, not right there. Paste it right here. But I'm going to get into what we put inside this then callback later on. For now, we're going to go inside of models. And inside user.js, because we are going to create a um, a new model method. Uh, let's go all the way above the one we just created. We're going to go on top of this one. So user schema.met statics, I mean, dot find by, find by credentials. I'm actually going to grab this. Come on, copy this and actually move it down below on top of this one. That's the one I want to get on top of. Just grab it on top of that one, put it on top of that one. I mean, it's going to equal into a function. I just want to be organized. That's why I'm doing it. I want to be organized. My statics are with my statics and my um, methods are with my methods. We are passing in an email and a password. And bar uppercase user, since this is a model method, is going to be equal to this. Awesome. So we're going to find a user. Find one. With the email as our search query. Okay, this is our object query right now, but we're going to be searching our collection with just the email since the email is unique. We can find the one that has that email if there is an email user that has an email. It's, it's going to return a user. And if there is no user, user we're going to simply just return a, a reject on the promise. So promise dot reject. 
goes like that. But if there is one, we're going to actually create a new promise. So I'll return new promise. And we're going to, this promise takes in two arguments, resolve and reject. I did create a, a uh, video on promises, also callbacks and async await and async. Um, it's going to be in the info card if you don't know what I'm doing here. But basically, when you're creating a new promise, it's going to resolve anything that you pass it in or it's going to reject anything that's going to pass it in. You'll see in a bit what, we're talk what I'm talking about. So in this new promise, it's going to return the uh, compared password from the hashed from the database, which is hashed and from this password that I passed in, which is a plain text password. It's going to compare both of them. And since we use bcrypt, uh, where do we use bcrypt? I'm, not, I'm sure right here. We use bcrypt right here. That means that we could actually bcrypt has a method called compare. So we're going to use that method. So bcrypt, bcrypt, no, crypt dot compare. And it's going to compare the password, this plain simple password they passed in and the hashed password that the user has. This user, they return this user has a password. So user dot password. And then you're going to get our callback with the error or res result. So if there is a result, we are going to return resolve. We're, we're finishing our promise. We're going to resolve it because it did return something and we're going to resolve it with the response argument. If there, if it didn't else, we're going to return. Oh, we don't have to return. Sorry. We, we really don't have to return. The reason we're returning right here is because we're sending back a uh, response. We don't have to return here because we're actually going to simply just reject the promise, meaning that there wasn't a user. So we're going to just reject. Sorry about that. We couldn't do nothing. And I'm just adding my semicolons. I forgot one up here. All right. You can add one. You can add one right there. I'm just. All right. Well, this is basically it. Actually, I did make a mistake right here. Instead of res, we're going to return a user. The reason you don't want res is because it's going to return a Boolean, which is true or false. False. True or false is for the B create compare. We don't want to return the, the Boolean. We want to return the user itself. So control save that. Go back into server.js. And now we're going to do something inside of our then callback. We're just simply going to res dot send out the user. Control save. Now, before I start anything, I'm going to actually open up Robo Mongo, which is right here. I'm going to refresh this, drop my to do database. Go right there. Okay, now start up my server. Mm. Node server, server JS. Awesome. Go to Postman, which is right here. I'm gonna create one. G at Bmail. We gotta create one because we just dropped our database. And now let's go to our user slash login route and actually try to um, get our body back from in here. Okay. So I'm gonna send this off, and we get our user back, which is good. Is good. It's a A one B E A one B E. So we do get our same user back, but there is a difference or actually a bad thing. We don't have in our, we don't have our X auth in our login right here. If you go to headers, you don't have an X auth. You need that X auth because we're going to be passing that back and forth to actually see if this is the same user. Cause if you go to right now, if you go to, um, the Git of slash me, I'm gonna get the X off of this one. Uh, 
copy put that right here paste it send it off you do get the same user but we don't have that token in here so we cannot get that user on slash me so we're gonna have to go inside uh adam again and restructure this the way we have it so instead of this we're going to return user and generate the token just like we did up here so generate generate auth token what what would it equal that we're going to generate auth token and then we're going to return a promise i mean it's going to give us a promise back with the token and we're going to do something with that token we're going to just literally literally do this right here i'm going to just copy this because we're going to set the header the x auth header to the token that we just got back and we're going to send off the user so control save let's restart our node server and let's actually send this off one more time the login and we get our x off now i could paste this in go to the local host uh users me paste this in paste no give me this Copy this token, the one we just got from the login. Go over here, go to users dash me, go in here, paste that in, send it off, and we still get our same user back, which is great. Awesome. Now, <clears throat> moving on to testing with Mocha. All right. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody wanted to do this. Let's go to our test right here server.test.js go all the way down we're gonna create a describe block describe is going to be post slash users slash login and we're gonna have two test case two test cases okay it should log in user and return auth token is going to be done because it's an async let me just copy this copy this now it should reject invalid login uh, again just like this now we're gonna focus on the first one so request app we're going to post to forward slash users slash forward slash login we're going to send some data because we do need to send some data it's gonna be in the form of an object and we're gonna just send uh, our dummy data, the one we have in our seed right here. If you remember, we did create a user's um, dummy data right here, and we're going to be using this data. Okay, so we're going to send the email from users colon. I'm going to get the first element. It doesn't really matter what element you get. I mean, the second element. Uh, it doesn't really matter one. I'm just using the first one just because I want to. Uh, one users one dot email and then we're also gonna get their password so copy this password awesome now go down here we're gonna expect a 200 coming back and we're also going to expect something from the body so expect result so we're going to expect from the body we are going to expect from the body res dot headers and we're going to we want headers the x auth factor so x 
X auth. We want the X auth to, sorry, to not be null. Just like that. To not be null. Because if we do send in a good um, user, then we want headers, headers X auth to not be null. That is pretty much simple. And from there on out, we're going to end it, but we're not going to just end it with a simple end. We're going to actually check check our database to see if we have it in there. So we get the error and the res back in here. So if error, we're going to return done with the error inside of it. If everything went well, we're going to go inside our database and expect stuff from our database. So user dot find one or find by ID since we have the ID. We're going to find the ID of don't, you don't have to add the query users of the first element since we, we are using their um, object dot underscore ID. That then it's going to return a user. All right, in here, we're going to expect users dot token because tokens is an array. We're going to get the first element from the array. So to users dot tokens, we're going to expect that to have property. And we, we want that property to have the access property, obviously, and the value of the access to be off. Because we are setting this ourselves. And we're also going to do the same thing. We're going to expect users.tokens to have property token. And that token's value is going to be the one we just got back from res headers. Okay. So res, not like that, just like this, res.headers. And we want the x auth one. Just like so. And if everything goes well, we're going to just call in done. I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> there it is. Good morning dot catch if anything goes wrong we're going to catch something with the error and we're going to just simply call in right here without the brackets done with the error inside that is it control save so let me let me explain what's going on right now so this should be simple we're sending some stuff our data data our data or data from our users.js uh, we're going to expect the 200 because we're expecting everything to go well and we're going to expect something from the body. Obviously that body is going to be the headers because we did set a token. So we expect this X auth headers to not be null. Once we're done, we're going to actually check in our database and we're going to expect, uh, the user's token. So we got a user bag from our database right here. We got a user bag and we're going to expect that user to have a token that has the properties access and token set to auth and the token inside of the body that we have right here. So let's actually try this out. I'm going to do uh, NPM actually. NPM test. So NPM test. Cross your fingers. And, oh, we actually did. Oh, wow. We actually did pass it. What? <laughs> I'm surprised. Uh, no errors right there. Awesome. All right. Uh, we actually passed it. Dude, I'm, I'm shocked. I really am. All right. Move on to the second one. Um, it's going to be almost the exact same thing up here. Actually, it's, it is going to be the exact same thing, but we're going to just tweak some stuff. So I'm just grab this, copy this. So we're actually going to actually, we're actually going to actually, uh, we're going to, uh, tweak this thing. So we're going to add right here in the password. We're going to add uh, a one to it because that's not the password we set for users up here. 
So with that said, we're going to expect a 400. We're actually going to expect off since we're not sending it, we're going to expect it to be undefined. So to be undefined, just like that, because we're not sending one. So obviously it's going to be undefined. Then down here, I'm going to get rid of these, these, this, and we're going to actually expect the tokens since it is an array. I want the length of it. I want the length to be zero because there shouldn't be anything inside the array. Uh, we didn't create a token because everything from this point went wrong. So <clears throat> control save that. Let's try it again. Oh, I started, I was waiting for it. I'm like, is it going? NPM, oh, well, we got, God, oh, almost. What went wrong? I see the problem right here. We don't need this part. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, control, save that. Let's actually start it again. And it should all be working. Yes, it is. Awesome. Now, since everything is working, and I'm pretty sure you know what's going on here, go back to server and we're going to actually create our delete route. So down below this one, we're going to do an app dot delete. Since we are going to delete something, we're going to delete the token. So that way they won't be able to be auth authenticated anymore. <clears throat> so the, the path to this is users slash me slash token we're gonna be deleting the token they're not gonna be passing the token via url or the body or whatever we're actually going to authenticate them just like we did up here because if you re if you remember once we authenticate them if i could right here once we auth once we authenticate them we actually store the token inside the inside the rec object so we're gonna be gr able to grab it like that so we're gonna just grab this copy this Put the authent right there and rec res. So for this one, we're actually going to do a um, instance method. We are going to create one, uh, but first we're going to define it here first. So work rec dot dude, my English right now is horrible. Hor you see what I'm talking about? I can't even talk. I don't even know why. I guess it's early in the morning. Rec user dot to yeah or actually remove token and we're gonna pass in the uh, rec dot token that then we're not gonna we're gonna retrieve something back but we don't really want it because we just we're just gonna delete it uh and then we're gonna just send a res dot status or res.status 200 dot send and then if anything if anything goes bad we're gonna just catch it so catch the error and we're gonna just send this back copy that is it control save now we're going to go inside and uh, define remove token inside of our users over here. So down below, we're going to do it between these two. So I'm going to put it right here. So user schema dot methods, because like I said, it's going to be a uh, instance. So methods dot remove token is going to equal a function where it does take in a parameter of our argument of token. And we're going to var user equals this. Now down below, we're going to actually return user. We're going to update a user. So user dot update is a uh, Mongo operation so update 
Now we're gonna actually pull the token from that user's uh, object, and you need to use a uh, Mongo's mongoose operation methods, which is going to be a pull. So dollar sign pull. This is an operation that they specifically have to actually pull things from a specific user or anything, uh, an object. And we're going to be pulling from the tokens array, just like this. And from that tokens array, we're going to be pulling the token, the, the token, the property token that has the token value of this right here. So we're going to pull from the arrays of tokens, the token property that has a token value of this. If nothing matches, then it's not going to pull anything away. But if something does match, it's going to take that away. And we could simplify this by, as you know, just saying token. Just like that. Add my semicolons. Control save. And now this should be working. So I'm going to in here start my server. I'm going to drop my database. Refresh. Drop database. Yes. Postman. I need to create a new user, so I'm going to use the same user right here. Users. Create this. And we should get our body back. We do. And since we're going to be deleting this user, we go to the route. This route. I'm just copy this. Make a new one. So HTPPS right here paste that forward slash and we're going it's going to be a delete and we need to pass in the token from our rec dot headers so we got the token right here where is it at oh right here headers grab this token copy Headers X auth value, and if we send it, we get a 404 not found. Let me see what's going on. Well, let's actually try to go to the the me and pass this one in the token that we just got. Pass it in. If we get, we do get our okay. So something went wrong over here. Let me let me let me try to do it right here. Uh, delete and it's gonna be user dash me slash token. And I'm just send that off, and we still get a 404 not found. Let's see what's going on. I found it, and I literally just forgot to put the forward slash right here. I'm gonna drop my database one more time. Refresh. Drop database. Yes. Now, inside of Postman, we're going to create a new user. This user right here. And we're going to go inside RoboMongo. Uh, refresh. Go inside here. And as you can see, we do get our tokens back. Or our token back. We'll grab this token. Copy that. Go in here paste this token now we're inside of slash user slash me slash token we'll send this off and I should get a 200 back and if you go back to Robo Mongo just view documents you see that we do not have our tokens no more which is great that means that we removed it now we actually try to well we can't sign up no more because we don't have that token or we can't uh, sorry we can't uh, go to token slash me because we don't have that, but we can log in, right? We could like log in. Let me, let me, uh, okay, it's the same one. We could log in. We do get a new token. Copy that. And if we go to post me, let me see, let me see. Right here, just the post me is going to be a git. Paste that, send it off. We do get our back. And if we, uh, Come back in here, delete that token one more time. Over here, you should see it still. See, we do get a new token. 
over here if we delete it one more time send that off we get a 200 and if you review it we don't get nothing back it's working perfectly now let's go on to testing our delete route so in users.js i mean um server test.js all the way down describe block is first as usual delete forward slash users forward slash me forward slash token and then it is going to be only one test case for this one so it should remove auth token on log out log out just like this now done all right request the app crap the app we're going to delete get the delete route which is users me token and then it's going to we're going to set yes we're setting an x auth token remember that guys and we do have an x auth token from our users right here up above in our dummy data where is it at authentic wait right here is it here or is it here is in our seed seed damn it right here in our first user we do have a token set already so we're going to be doing that okay so we're going to be setting our x auth x auth to users the first element of users which is a zero dot tokens since tokens is an array we're gonna get the first element and token that is it and then we're gonna expect a 200 no not a semicolon do not add semicolons and then we're gonna expect something from the body oh we're actually we're not expecting anything from the body uh we're gonna expect not in here damn it i'm i'm thinking ahead because actually we're gonna end it dot end i'm gonna delete this right now we're gonna end it right now but we're not gonna end it the same way we're gonna actually check our database for that token so end error res just like that and we're not gonna and here if it's basically the same I'm just copy this copy paste now user dot find by ID where we're gonna just pass in the user zero ID I'm just grab this dot then it should return a user so we're gonna expect user dot tokens dot length to be zero because we just deleted that token so there's there should be nothing as you saw when we did it on mongo <laughs> On Robo Mongo, you saw that it was nothing, so we expect it to be a zero, <clears throat> and that is it. We're gonna call in done right here, and obviously we're gonna catch if something does go wrong. We're gonna catch an error, and we're gonna just call it done with the error, just like so. And cross your fingers, toes, and anything that you got, because we're about to test it. Control save NPM test. Here we go. <laughs> oh, dude, I thought I passed it. It did not pass. Okay, let me see what's going on. Connection refused. 
Let me see what's going on. Hold on. I do see the problem. I'm always forgetting that forward slash. That damn forward slash. I'm telling you. No, no. This one. And, but that wasn't it. Property length of undefined. Oh, it's tokens. Not token. Control save. One more time, one more time, and this should be it. This should be it. Yes, 19 passing. So let me explain what's happening. We're getting the route or the URL user SME token. We're gonna set the set the X auth to the actual dummy data token that we have. We provided this token, so we're setting it. We're gonna expect the 200. And once we end it all, we're gonna find one in the database. We're gonna find the user zero in the database. We're gonna get that user and we're gonna expect the tokens length to be zero because we removed the token so there should not be any tokens in there. All right. That is it for this video guys. Um, that was error prone, you know, you know. You know what I'm talking about. If you see my videos, you know I always commit errors, and you know it's part of being a developer. So, anyways, thank you so much, guys, for uh, watching the video. I'm I'm telling you, man, my English right now I cannot speak. I'm like stuttering, slurring. I don't know what. It's early in the morning. I have no idea. I couldn't sleep. I tell you that much. I could not sleep. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a comment, uh, like or dislike, and. On the next video, we are going to, we are going to be talking about making more routes. Uh, actually, our to do routes. Yes, we're going to move back to to do routes, and we're going to be making those private. And then probably, probably I'm going to be talking about improving our app configuration. And then we're going to be deploying it to Heroku. Those are the videos that are coming up. I'm pretty sure there's only two more videos. Um, we are we are extremely close to being done with this project. And um, like I said, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video.